I am in a very good mood today because I got out of class. Well, I didn't get out of class. My class got canceled, which is freaking cool. I love college because your classes get canceled every once in a while, which is Mm, it's awesome and this is my first canceled class of this semester and it's just awesome because I got to sleep in and I get an extra day of filming and anyway you don't care so I'm gonna get on to my favorite things now when I say favorite things it's not like a monthly favorites it's just things that I have wrote down over the past couple of weeks that I really enjoy the way it looks on me the way it makes me feel when I look at it I'm like oh it's pretty I like it in my room blah, 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 blah. I just have like in general like it's not like specifically for the month of October it's just in general and when I was putting this together I was kind of thinking Caitlin this kind of looks like you're just throwing a bunch of crap in a video and be like oh I really like this just for a video that's definitely not the case at all I have thought about this for weeks just writing down things as it goes on in my like on my um iPhone and then in a journal next to my bed just things that I like I always thought this kind of video would be handy for a month that I didn't really have anything to talk about which is this month so I'm just getting get into it I'm gonna start with beauty and then I'll get to the more random things and if you guys enjoy this I have other things that I could talk about eventually if you guys like this kind of random in general thing I don't know I thought it'd be interesting so just, just let me know if you like it. one of the first things is a makeup brush um, Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, that's what it's called, yeah. Expert Face Brush, and this was about $8, $9 from Ulta, it's just the most amazing foundation brush ever, like it's just awesome, and it's perfect, and when you wash it and you put it on again, it feels like a brand new brush, I've never had a brush, or a uh, bristle, is that what the word is, fall out of this, I've never ever had a hair fall out of this brush, and it's awesome, I just love it, it makes it look like airbrushed, it looks so good, I just love this brush. Mm. I know I've talked about this way too much. It's foundation by CoverGirl, 3-in-1. You guys know I feel like I talk about it in every video. I just love this one and I would continue. I'm going to continue and continue and continue to buy it. I just love it. I can't. I can't get enough of it. The last beauty favorite is the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Now, when I say this is my favorite, it's kind of hard because I've never had a, like, professional, like, a professional a high-end makeup palette before ever so it's really hard because I can't I can't like compare this to something else because I've heard that the Lorac palettes are fabulous they're really creamy I think you get more shades I'm not totally sure on that and you it's cheaper than this this is like $54 or something like that crazy right but I saved up and I wanted the Naked 3 and I like it I really do I wouldn't take it back I'm glad I bought it it's just very pink undertone, which I feel like some people don't like because it's very, it's not, there's not a variety, you know what I mean? So if you're thinking about getting a palette, don't just be like, well, Caitlin says it's freaking awesome, which it is. Think, look at the Lorac palettes because I feel like the majority of people would grab the Lorac because there's more variety, but if you really love pink tones, then I would check this out. The next favorite is a Batiste Dry Shampoo. I use this stuff all the time whenever I have two-day hair, which is today. My hair kind of sucks today, but I don't know what else to do with it. I just kind of put it down. If it looks crappy, whatever. Um, at least it doesn't look greasy because I put this in my hair and it's just awesome. Then I have this Cetaphil cleanser. It's awesome. It, it's really great. It just takes off your makeup. I have really sensitive dry skin and it doesn't irritate it and it just doesn't make it dry. It doesn't like dry out my skin. So I love this product. It was about $5 from Target. You can get it at Walgreens. You can probably get it at Walmart. You can get it a lot of places. Now I have two very random shoe favorites that I love and they always come in handy. When I want to dress up my outfit I wear these boots. These were about I want to say $15 from uh, Vanity but I got these several years ago so it's just they're first of all they're okay I can probably wear these about three hours um, walking around with, before they start hurting my feet and once they start hurting my feet they hurt my feet they really hurt. So, um, if you're just like going to the mall or something, they look really cute and they don't hurt your feet for a while. And then for the winter times, these boots I got from, oh, what was it? Meyer. I believe they were like $30. They're not like the most attractive. Like most girls want to wear Uggs, which I like, but the Uggs never fit me. Like once the, once the fur wears down in the Uggs, my feet don't fit in the shoe at all. So I just got these. These are fitted to my feet. They don't change the shape. And I don't know, I just think they're cute and they're not like, 
hideous like old grandma boots but they're not like super young ugg boots so it's kind of like a nice in between I have two glasses favorites and this one is sunglasses from Target these are my all-time favorite sunglasses ever they were $12 totally worth it I would even buy a second pair because I love them so much and these glasses are actually my glasses that I wear but I have contacts in so it's gonna really hurt my eyes but I'll just kind of put them on and shut my eyes because if I open them I it will hurt but these just what they, these look like I don't know I am really glad I got these well my eyes are like adjusting right now <laughs> um, but they're white on the inside and then black on the outside and I don't know price I have no idea um, I just like the black frames I don't know I like them I feel like I'm kind of I don't know I feel kind of weird showing you guys this I thought this would be a good idea I don't want to seem like I'm like here's my thing like look at I have cool things like I don't want to be like really braggy I feel like it's kind of come across that way so I'm really sorry for that I feel bad I don't know I feel like I still am gonna post it but I hope you guys realize I'm not doing this to be like look at my stuff and like shove it in your face I'm not trying to do that at all I like watching people like show off their things and stuff like that um, I don't know I just like looking at cute things I don't know I just spit did you guys see that I just spit at you you probably couldn't see that but I saw I went like this and I could see the spit blind oh, don't you hate that when you like spit on someone and it's like oh my gosh did they just see that like should I just act normal or should I apologize <laughs> I've done that so often and it's embarrassing anyway getting back on the point I hope I'm not like being a brat I don't know I feel bad okay a very random item is a laptop case. I love this thing. Love. Look at how freaking adorable this thing is. First of all, it is so soft inside and I've had this forever. I got this kind of around when I started my YouTube channel. So I probably had this for a year. It's still extremely soft on the inside. It is kind of dirty in there, but um, it just has like a little deer on both of the sides with like a cherry blossom tree. I love this. This was probably about $10 from Marshalls. I just think it's adorable. Like, can I just say how adorable it is? It's for adorable. Like, mm. Then I have another kind of decorative, random freaking thing. But every time I look at it, I get so excited. So, but first of all, Becky, my best friend, if you're watching this, don't look, look away. Look away for a second. Because sometimes she watches my videos and she hates owls. She literally she hates them so this is an owl Becky so don't look just skip ahead okay it is this adorable owl it's like metallic -y, kind of a rose gold finish I got from Walmart do I have the price it was $2.97 like three bucks for this thing and I think it's adorable um it just decorates up my room and every time I look at it I'm like oh it's so cute this is another, I keep saying another random favorite, but like it's so random, but that's kind of the point of the video. So this is a cutter board um, mat. I got this 50% off from Joann's Fabrics. How much did I pay for this? I think I paid 10 bucks for it and it was normally like 20. But if you're an art student or just an art person that's got to work on projects at home and you deal with glue and scissors and like exacto knives and just everything to keep your like table protected this is fabulous next thing I have a lap desk and some of you may know what I'm talking about others may not it is literally so I can sit in my bed and do my homework it's awesome it is so cool I've had this for like <sighs> probably like two or three years and it's uh, the only thing that's kind of screwy is these little paper holders up here they're really loose I just got something in my eye oh my gosh oh my gosh for the clothes item which is inside I hope it is probably my favorite shirt that I own and my dad got this for me at a Wilco concert and if you guys know I love Wilco um, so it is my dad. It's kind of like our thing, mainly his thing, but also my thing. The next favorite is also inside out. Um, it is a tank top that I got for forever from Forever 21, and it is these beautiful palm tree pictures on the front. The final clothing item is these are my favorite pajamas I have ever owned in my life. They were kind of expensive. I got them for a, as a gift from my parents for Christmas. These are also inside out. What the heck? Do I just not pay attention when I fold my clothes? Okay, these are the bottoms. 
Oh, they're so adorable. These are, did I say where they're from? Victoria's Secret. They were like $50. It's really bad. But I've had these for a year. I got them for Christmas last year. And I wear them all the time. I will continue to wear them until they like are falling off with holes in them. Oh, love them. And then I'll show you the top, which is also inside out. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow. I, have, I got my arm workout for the day. So, anyway, here's what the top looks like. It's very kind of a lot to take in because it is so, like, cheetah-licious. The second to last thing is this Beatles blanket. I will get up and show you guys. It says the Beatles. So, guess how much I paid for this blanket. Just guess. Like, just... Do you have your guess? Three dollars, literally. Three dollars. The story behind this is I actually got it at a garage sale. Whether you think that's gross or not, I don't care. This Beatles blanket was three dollars. It was normally a march for like 50 bucks. Oh, there's a squirrel in my yard! It is gross. It's like a gray one. Oh, I'm surprised my dog's not attacking it right now. Do you guys see it? Oh, it's so cute! There's my, oh, 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 oh. What is he doing? Oh no, it's leaving. But there's Jordan. Where'd it go? Oh. Wait, is that it? No, that, that's a tree, Caitlin. My mind isn't focusing today. Anyway, blanket. I think I said everything about it, which is awesome. And every time I look at it, I'm like, I can't believe I got that for such a great deal. And the final favorite is also a blanket, not for the pattern. I don't really care about the pattern. This is a heat blanket. Literally, you plug it in and it, it's warm. Like, it's really warm. And it's awesome. It's so cozy. It's pretty a decent size. It's not super huge, but it is a nice size. So that is it for my random favorite things video. Was this interesting? Was it boring? Was it pointless? Was it fun? Let me know in the comments section below. That is what it's for. Um, so I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you guys in my next video.